What's up, everybody? Uh, my friend 73MC asked this on my YouTube page, and I replied in text, but I thought I would just uh, reply here because everyone needs to hear this. Uh, his question was that he had been overweight most of his life and that he started working out and he lost, had some success and got to where he wanted to be, and then he slowly regained the weight. And now being a little bit older and not being as motivated, he's had a very hard time restarting. Now, I lived that life, and for many years, I felt the exact same way. I looked at my journey, which you know I lost 275 pounds on that had taken three or four years of my life, and I just didn't see how I could do it again after regaining the weight. How could I trust myself again? How could I go out there every single day and put in that effort and that work when I don't want to? I feel weak. I'm scared you know, uh, that I'm going to be a failure. How can I do that? How can when Knowing how hard it is, knowing how long it takes, knowing what a commitment is, how could I do that when I had let myself down at the end? Like Knowing that I could even get there and still let myself down, it just seemed absolutely hopeless for me. Uh, and... I just couldn't stop beating myself up over letting myself get back there. And uh, these feelings are coming back. Um, <laughs> it was hard and it is hard. Retreading old ground is very, very hard. Um, but what I did was I learned to forgive myself. I realized that beating myself was putting an obstacle in front of me, directly in front of me of where I wanted to go. And if I was really serious about going that way, I had to stop it and I had to be kind to myself. And that was such a hard thing for me to do because uh, I hated myself. I absolutely hated myself. I did. Um, but I did it because I, I was in a such a dark place that I just wanted to get out. I just, I just wanted to get out. And like one of my, you know, thoughts was that it was over for me. And I, I actually gave up for a while and like, I, I really actually wanted to die because like, I didn't see any future and, um, and that scared me. And so one day I just finally started and I took a little step and, and the way I did it was I did it very slowly. I didn't try to throw it all, you know, on myself at once because I knew I couldn't handle it. Like I didn't try to just eat perfect and exercise five or six times a week for 30 minutes and, and just, you know, dive right in what I did was because I knew I needed to stop eating sugar, I would get rid of one thing. I used to have graham crackers with peanut butter on them like every single day. I loved it. And I, I was like, okay, no more of that. And I got rid of that and I replaced it with something that I could have. And that was my first step. And I did that for two weeks before I even did anything else. And that's okay because we got time. You know, this isn't a rush. It can't be a rush because weight loss isn't, it's not a race. I mean, it's not one that you can win. It's a lifestyle change. You have to to change your lifestyle because once you get to the end, I mean, you can do like, you know, keto or whatever and, and, and lose weight fast. And that's what everyone wants. But at some point there's, you're going to have to reconcile that with, with reality in the rest of your life. Like you could, people who lose all this weight really fast and then they get to their goal. If they do, I mean, that's, that's a very unstable bridge to go down, but if they actually white knuckle and get to their goal, like I did almost, um, and then they get there, they're going to have the same problem that they have now. We got to find a way to eat for the rest of our lives, the way that's going to help us sustain this. Because otherwise, what are we going to do now? So you have to figure that out, whether it's that when you get there or now. And the best thing to do is figure it out now. So do things that are sustainable, things that you don't hate, that you enjoy. Eat things that you like. Just find ways to make them healthy. Do exercise that you enjoy. And just keep going. And that is the key. One step at a time. It's not a race. And be easy on yourself. If you have to beat yourself, beat yourself with a feather. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. And I will talk to you all soon. Knuckle up.